So we're working for, with an emergency preparedness bulletin from Ohio State University Extension uh, to share with agritourism operations, which include all the pick your owns onto the pumpkin and hayride operations in the fall of the year. And one of the major sections is natural disasters, floods, storms, those kind of things. And one of the things to really look at when preparing this part of the plan for the farm of how to deal with that emergency is looking at, is there a storm shelter at the farm? What does our sheriff say when it comes to those kind of emergencies? What does our emergency management person in the county have to say about those? That's the only person that can really tell you if you have a storm shelter at your farming operation. It's downloading apps on the phone, not just the weather channel, which might tell you what happened two minutes ago, uh, but dealing with something like radar scope or working with your local uh, TV station uh, meteorologist to learn about uh, weather spotting kind of uh, equipment or just the weather spotting program to go through. So you know right now what's happening live on the radar, not what happened two or three minutes ago. Two or three minutes could be a big difference when it comes to a storm or uh, even a tornado. So looking at our sections, uh, you can go to our website at uh, directmarketing.osu.edu. Uh, we'll have more information on there to learn how to put a plan together. The biggest thing when it comes to, a, to a, any kind of a storm event is to be watching, that you know when your day starts at the farm, whether it's just a strawberry pick your own operation or it's a really busy uh, fall pumpkin weekend at the farm, what is the weather gonna look like? Do you need to be on the phone every five or 10 minutes and look at the weather coming? And if there is that kind of a stormy day, you have to be prepared to say, hey, this thing is within 20 miles of us. It's more than just a red cell, it's a purple cell. The TV stations are saying there's possible hail and tornadic activity. When do you evacuate the farm? And that's what your emergency management agency and the local sheriff will help you decide in your farming operation. When they come, they'll say, hey, you have no storm shelters on your operation besides the basement of the house or they'll say, well, maybe this building fits in that situation. So you'd have to figure out how to clear the parking lot as quickly as possible to get those folks to a safer area than your farm.